So I had a lot of people ask me, uh, first off, if I was playing this, because they did announce where they were canceling pretty much Telltale Games just stopped everything. Like, out of nowhere. I thought it was going to get the Wolf Among Us 2, everything. But the studio shut down, and I didn't know what was going to happen with the Clementine story. You know, we've all come to love. I've been playing this this game since 2012, basically. The story, at least. And it's just been like, there's no way it can end on this part. Like, this episode or whatever. So, I'm hoping that the news I just read was that they did make a statement where they're going to try to finish episodes 3 and 4. Uh, I'm hoping that's the case. I really do. But, anyways, <laughs> let's play this. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't have a massive cliffhanger at the end, because if it does, I don't know what I'm going to do. I might throw a chair. It's been a while. Uh, but you guys are awesome. Thank you so much for all the likes and everything you drop on this. It would be really sick if this is the last episode they ever do to kind of send it off uh, with a big goodbye and everything. So, uh, hopefully it's not, though. All right, guys, I love you. If you want this quickly, just destroy that like button, and let's do this. Previously, on The Walking Dead, AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. The leader of a community, living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home. A real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. I didn't want to risk it. So I let him take some of the food and leave. I found Marlin and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen, and I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Marlin traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlin stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Violet backed me up. With everyone against him, the fight went out of Marlin. I told him he could stay, but he couldn't be our leader. But then... Marlin was dead. And AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I'd taught him. To always aim for the head. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. <sighs> I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. Last night, with Marlin? I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. The kid blew his brains out. You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. You promised Marlin. You said you'd help him fix things. What the fuck did you teach this kid?
Lewis called me a murderer. But, but we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlon was bad. He killed Brody. He, he kept telling lies. Look, you did the right thing. The only thing you could do. Marlon was a monster. Lewis doesn't understand that, but he will. You were justified. I was justified. What are we gonna do? Back off, all of you! You talked Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. It's exactly what happened. Marlon started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? He didn't have to shoot Marlon in the fucking skull. It was over. Get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? They better not call me a monster. They were scared of me, even though Marlon was the bad guy. I'm not scary. I wasn't... I didn't act like a monster. I stopped a monster. I know you're not. We just need to prove it to them. I'll tell them they're wrong. They'll know when someone explains it to them. Like, you explain things to me. AJ, come sit with me. We've got nothing to apologize for. You saved me and them from a monster. They'll see that. We'll make them. <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck, and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Or what? You're gonna let him kill me too? Then who's next? A Sim? Willie? <clears throat> Screw both of you. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You told me your friend Lee became a monster. Why didn't you stop him? He didn't want me to. He said it would change me forever. But I know he... He became a monster. Do you wish you did? Yeah, every day. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Hey. Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. What are those? Drawings for Marlon and Brody. It's of stuff they wanted. I'm going to put them on their graves. They don't need them. They're dead. They're not gonna get that stuff. That's not why you do it. It's a sweet idea, Ten. They'll look really nice on the graves. Thank you. Have fun with your firefighter, okay? Can we play with them later? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. Vile started soon. See you out there.
This is gonna suck. They're gonna say a lot of things about Marlin and Brody. Some true, some not. Let's just get through it without upsetting everybody, okay? Okay, I'll try. I'm gonna tell you right now, it's it's a little weird playing this game, because it's so well, like, polished and everything, too, and I just, I... I don't know, maybe it's just kind of bittersweet. I really hope this is not the last episode we ever get of these characters, you know? I'm just kind of taking it all in. Hey, AJ, where's that toy tin just gave you? Let's show it off with the rest of our stuff. I like all our stuff. I thought, you know, the last episode ended so crazy, too. Let's talk to AJ. Time to go. Soon. Oh, yeah, we can investigate the, like, the drawings. Like, wait, I, this is pretty much, like, the central hub for this episode. Or this entire season, I guess. Tin thinks I'm brave. I'm gonna make everyone else think so, too. Sounds good. Alright, looks like we're gonna head to the door. We also have all the different things we can put in the room. Let's look at the deer skull. <sighs> Ready? Old R1 to run. It almost seems like they want you to explore. I guess I'll just head straight there. Do you even remember how to Look at the dog. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Clem? What? <clears throat> Why do people have funerals? Tin said they used to have them more. They died. But I don't get it. Well, to remember people we loved. <sighs> they loved Marlin. Brody. Yeah, they did. I didn't she love Marlin. So Let's just get through this. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Whatever she says. Marlin did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. But you told me I was justified. You were, but Marlin, he just made mistakes. That's all. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Dude, don't. Seriously, Lewis? He was your best friend. He wasn't perfect. 
But he deserved better than to get gunned down by that kid. AJ killed him like it was nothing. I don't appreciate your tone, Mitch. Yeah? Well, I don't appreciate your kid murdering my friend. I... I was justified. Clem told me. Fuck, I can't listen to this. Damn, that's... Shit. That's what you told him? That what he did was... was okay? We can't. Wait. We should talk this out. Talk about what? He murdered our friend! I know, this sucks. I'm sorry for that. I really am. But AJ did what he had to do. Are you shitting me right now? See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. That does seem fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. Please, don't do this. I know you're angry, but You we... don't know shit! If you did, you would've stopped AJ. Like you stopped Marlin from killing Brody? Fucking hypocrite! A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Lewis needs to vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him? Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. Come here, sit down. No! It didn't work. I did what you said and they didn't even care. Marlon was bad. I tried to tell them, but they wouldn't even listen at all. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? <laughs> Come on, I don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. I know that I'm not supposed to get mad. Or sad. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Okay. We stop, we think, 
and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh, I think I'm sad too. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to show them I was right. Like you said. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? I thought they would listen to us. I didn't realize it. I didn't know how bad it would be. It's my fault they got angry. But they hate me. They don't hate you. Hmm. I think they hate us both. I don't want to go. I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed, the food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. We took the vote. You have to leave. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. Good, because I don't. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. Seriously? That's it? You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not going to fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ is in dangerous too. We'll wait for you to pack up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. It's not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. Thanks for making sure that we... No, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. Get him under control. AJ, breathe. Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. It's best to leave him alone when he's like this, but for the record, he wanted you to stay. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Hand it over. Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. Give it to him. I might need it. AJ, now. Fuck. There. Happy? Can we go? <clears throat>
Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. I mean, you've done this before. Probably pretty good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Yeah, and it almost killed us. You saw how fucked up we were after that car crash. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. I didn't want this. Come on, let's just go. Give us a minute, would you? Yeah, so do I. I wish we hadn't fucked it up. You didn't. Marlon did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe. Both of you. I must be stupid. I can't leave you out here unarmed. Thanks. Let's get going. The sun will set soon. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. We'll find someplace new. Someplace better. I'll try not to mess it up. Hide! You gotta be kidding already? We've been gone for, what, a minute? A couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. That's the man from the train station? Yes. The one Brody was scared of. Yeah. Stay here. There's no way I killed this guy. <laughs> we may fight. Tough little bitch, aren't you? Finish him off. Just walk away and we'll let you go. Closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. Uh, don't! I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marlon. Uh, he's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? 
It's not like you have many other options. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah! Don't! Ah! Let him go! Please! Sure. If you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Oh my god. Clementine, it's you? I... My name is Lily. You probably don't remember me. Lily? I thought you died. I came close. What the hell? Not now. The fuck is this? <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. He was kind to me, even after I shot that girl. Carly. Lee should have never let me stay with the group. It was too easy to steal the RV and leave. He had too much faith in other people. Probably why he kept you around. Probably why he didn't make it. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. Your little boy there, you'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. I don't think so. AJ knows how to handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Run! I feel like getting them to shoot Lily wouldn't have been a great option. Come on! Oh wow, did he get shot? This has felt like a build-up episode to, like, something big, you know? The fact that they brought her back- she was in the first season of The Walking Dead, I believe. It was a long time ago. Oh my goodness. Oh, there's absolute maniacs right now. We have to use zombies to our advantage. Here we go. I'm gonna have to kill one, aren't I? Oh my goodness. Oh, he did get... Shit! <laughs> 
This is not good. Oh, I gotta fight him off? Are you kidding? I'm gonna stun any of them. Just go for the kill. I love the set pieces in this episode. Oh my god. I gotta hurry up. Are there, I don't know if there's any behind me. Alright, I'm good. No, I'm not. Alright, we gotta play this smart. I always get maxed out on these parts. I can kill the first one pretty easily, and then it's like the other ones you gotta stun them and then run. Break them up a little bit. Keep you there. Wait, why did it not let me uh, tag them up? Oh my god. Oh, I'm so lucky. That would have been it, too. They kind of waited. Felt like the game helped me a little bit. What, again? Oh, look at this one. No. Stop. Too loud. Kind of freaked me out a little bit. <laughs> Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. Oh my god, it's like the game operation all of a sudden. There we go. Uh, let's go for this one. At least it wasn't a uh, slug shot. Then it really would have been bad. Oh, got to go to downward angle. Trying not to be loud. It's okay, AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop the bleeding. It's okay, AJ. He's just gonna patch you up. Oh. It's enough. For now. Oh, easy. Easy. Where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis and Violet ran. They're safe. Yeah, 
Probably. Shit. I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. You sent the walkers? Was part of a group. Call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move among them. Sometimes guide them. Why are you alone, if you were part of a group? They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. Eat. Both of you. Thank you. <sighs> Do you have a name? Been a while. Since? I've said it. James. Why did you help us, James? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? I hardly know anything about them. You know they attacked you. They'll attack again. Yeah, they said as much. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. It's why they take people. To make them fight. Train them. Use them. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. Clem? Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well, and nobody gets hurt. Not us. Not him. I'd rather just kill the zombie, but for the sake of this guy being a part of that group or whatever. I don't know. He seems to know the best. Thank you. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? Georgia. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. So, where are you from? Washington. 
The city or the state? The city. Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I'll kill Ahmed. I'll convince him to help AJ. That's gonna be bad. I'll go back. Convince them to help AJ. They'll take us back once they see him. They wouldn't turn AJ away. You hope? I'll help you get back. Past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. <sighs> I'll stay awake. You don't have to. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Mm, I can't. Then we'll both keep watch. Less lonely. True. <laughs>